Hi guys and gals, welcome to another episode of Squad Morale Restored. My name is Daniel, and today we are going to be looking at the Dark Oath War Queen, Marka Blood Sky. Apparently. Yeah, so this was released for the Malign Portent series in 2018, I believe. And is one of four um character models for the different alliances and fairly obviously uh this one is for chaos okay so we have the dark oath war queen has sworn dread pacts with the chaos gods uniting the savage tribes to bring carnage to the mortal realms okay so let us have a little look in and so, that must be an easy way of doing this. Yeah. 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 Fiend. Okay, so. No, nearly. Okay. So, we are now in. Oh, craggy. Okay. Right, let's have a looky. So, comes with a little glossy colour brochure type instructions pamphlet. Um, have some basic instructions. I'll freeze frame that if you want to have a closer look. And then the rest, oh, right, the rest of it is just taken up with the war scroll in various languages. Okay, not bad. It's a good-looking mini from well from the photographs. So let's have a look at what you get for your money. Now this apparently costs. Twenty pounds at Games Workshop. Uh, you can get it at a knockdown price of between, say, ten and twenty percent from stores like Element Games. But even then, you're paying sixteen pounds. Okay, so who thinks it's worth that? So. Fairly plain, normal 32mm base, tray, and one sprue or frame. I've got two. Okay, so we have a 2018 frame. Uh, let's go through some of the parts. So, a scenic base with giant centipede type creatures on it. Looks interesting. I must admit, that does look interesting. Okay, we have a booted foot, okay, a little bit of leg showing, or possibly, yeah, I think it's a little bit of leg, but nice high boots, bit of, plenty of armour there, we have a dagger in its scabbard, a bit of cloth in front with a chain mail protection, and a rather, whoops, a rather impressive looking skull belt type buckle. Okay. All right. All right, let's have a looky. Got another nicely crafted axe there, quite delicate, so um, looks a bit more realistic than some older sculpts that have more hefty hafts. And the face, that is, hang on, try and get this focus sorted out. There we go. Okay, the face, that looks really good. The head is a very impressive looking. I suspect the horns are supposed to be part of the helmet and they're not her own horns. Very nice. Okay, we have the shield. Let's see how well, see what they've done on the inside. Okay. okay. Yep. So, quite professionally done. Yep, lovely. We've got the um, hand. If you actually see past my hand. Uh, we've got the uh, hand holding onto the um, straps very well. Looks Good. Nice bit of muscle detail. There's always the um, risk. Well, not risk. There's always the 
possibility that they might stint on the the sort of design on the inside that you don't see very easily, but definitely not here. Um, okay, we have her other foot with kind of some kind of bird, perhaps. Is that a bird skull? It's an odd sort of bird. Is that a bird skull? Does any of you have a better idea of what a bird skull is supposed to look like? And if so, is that one? Hmm, okay. Right. Okay, so let's sum this up. This is going to be one of my shortest videos. Um, so, in the box, we have a collision. In the box, we have a standard base, a single sprue, a tray, which I'm not too sure we can use that for, colour leaflets with some little bits of information in, um, probably the most useful part of the associated bump is the um, painting instructions on the back of the box, which is pretty much what got me interested in this model in the first place. It just looks really good without being too over the top, um, not overtly sexualized ish, and just looks like re she looks just really mean. The frame itself is very good. Um, has the last year's stamp, which is kind of obvious because that's when it came out. And I have no doubt that this will make an awesome looking figure for your collection or to maybe even lead um, a Slaves to Darkness kind of army. Price brackets, always going to be a sticking point. Um, £20 for a single frame. No matter how well done it is, there's no options. It's monopause. I'm going to sort of give this a bit of a thumbs down in terms of value for money. Um, but that is basically the only sticking point. If you can actually find this for less than £16, um, say 12 or below, then I would say that you can pick it up and feel pretty good with yourself. Um, but... Even at the discount price, I mean, the discount price today of, say, £16 is pretty much what they're charging full price only a year or so ago. Um, I mean, if you consider that this is available at Games Workshop today for £20, um, and that might you might think that's far too much money, um, give it a couple of years and £20 will be... The new discount price by the time that these would be selling at say £24 each. So <sighs> it's up to you guys whether you want to vote with your feet or your wallet or rather. Well, or both. <laughs> um yep, undeniably it's a great looking model. It's for my for my point of view, it's definitely not worth Gamesworks asking price and even the discount price that you can get from stores like Element Games, I would be, ooh, I would be in two minds whether or not to actually to go for it. Um, none of the stuff on our channel is actually given to us. Um, I either review stuff I've paid for myself or one of our fellow gamers has brought in. Um, so in this case, I've actually purchased this lady, and I do like the model. Um, I'm going to try and put the price out of my mind when I think about it. <laughs> um, oh, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Um, how do you feel about the? It's always going. This is always going to be good. How do you feel about the current pricing of some of the monopause single frame or even maybe double frame sprues you get for some basically infantry characters? I wait the comment section with bated breath. So anyway, very short video this time, everyone. Uh, until next time, you take care of yourselves and happy hobbying. Bye for now.